Welcome to Tanaha Demonstration and Learning Centre and the Chuson Proving Ground. Today we're talking about some of the really big stuff that Caterpillar builds, Caterpillar's global mining equipment. And we're starting this morning talking about command for hauling and I'm here with Corey Smith. Corey, can you tell me about yourself? Sure, thanks. I'm a licensed professional mine engineer and uh, six years in autonomous haulage operations on customer sites. I'd like to show you what we have in store today. Okay, sounds good. To begin our mine start demonstration, we will focus on cat command for hauling. So first of all, Corey, can you tell me what we're looking at now? We have automated uh, the haulage cycle. And by doing that, uh, we're, taking the, uh, we're taking the population of the trucks on the mine site down and lowering costs for the customers. Probably the most rewarding part of the job is, uh, is being able to uh, put together mine plans that are really designed for the future. It's going to unlock so much more value. It's, it's adding life to mines that would otherwise close. It's providing uh, for them cost support that would uh, allow them to weather any economic uh, storms that may come on their commodity prices. That's very satisfying as a, as a miner. Fantastic technology and it really is you know, something that uh, as a company we, we should be really, really proud of. Looking outside, there's some very interesting looking equipment out there which I'd love to go and have a look at. One of the largest pieces of equipment we have out here which is the 7495 rope shovel. Wow, this is absolutely huge. So this is the command center, this is where it all happens, and actually they can control most of the mine site from this chair here. This really is very impressive. We're now headed over to the Tucson Proving Ground to look at the command for dozing area. I'm now here with Dan Toborowski. Dan, please can you tell me what you do? Absolutely. Um, I'm the team lead validation here for our command for dozing program. This is Chad Hansen. He's our command expert operator. Okay. And we focus on testing and development of the command for dozing system. I'd like you to actually get in the seat and Chad will walk you through how to run this dozer. Your implement controls are up here. Left hand is, is steering just like in a dozer. Right finger tips will take the tractor right. Left finger tips will take the tractor left. Okay. Slow it down, and then you can move that. Go on, a little bit down. Yeah. Now you're pushing dirt. We're using this on a surface mine at the moment. Where do people see this going? Uh, underground hauling or, or underground uh, muckers. We can pull those operators a top side so they're not having to put themselves in that harm's way of being in the underground environment. Thank you very much. Really yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, thanks Chad. Thank yes, you. Sir. Okay, so I'm here with Josh Adams. Josh, Copy that, sir. what are we about to do? We are going to run an autonomous loop around Site 17 here on our 789D truck. Sounds like a lot of fun. So now we're going to go into auto. Yeah. Our light went to solid blue. Yeah. I'm going to take the park brake off here in case we needed to take control of the truck. The blue lanes are what we have permission for. Yeah. You'll notice that the truck does drive pretty fast. We do a lot of development on how the truck drives, how it handles, how it behaves. When this thing goes autonomous, we want it to run safe and efficient, you know, no issues, make them happy. Make sure they, they make more money with yeah. us than anybody else. Yeah. This is really, uh, you know, where the software and, and all the components come together and, and meet the iron. I'm with Sarah Loomis. Sarah, perhaps you can tell us what you do. Yeah, I'm the America's AHS Operations Manager, so I have full responsibility for all of our autonomous sites in North and South America. Okay, that's great. Yeah. I've just had the amazing experience of riding on one of our autonomous vehicles. You are working with them every day. What does it mean for the, for the mine itself and, and the people on the mine? Yeah, for the end user, though, when I see those flashing blue lights, it's around safety and productivity. Those trucks are doing exactly what we want them to do in a safe and efficient manner. It's helping that customer's bottom line, and it's also keeping people safe out of harm's way. It's amazing technology. I mean, just, you know, we all talk about autonomous vehicles. It must be amazing for, for you, as you say, every day coming up and you can actually see cat machines in action. Uh, Absolutely. In and you know that they're not, they're not manned. I mean, this is just, you know, the amazing part. The sophisticated technology combined with the sheer size of some of this equipment is truly impressive. It has been a great visit here with the cat mining team here in Tucson.